I went from zero to published app in just a single afternoon. I built this AI coding tools leaderboard where people can submit and vote for their favorite AI coding tools. And I did everything from the development to hosting to even getting a custom domain name all in just a single tool. And that tool is Replit. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the same. But first, let's zoom out. AI is completely changing who can build software. You don't need years of coding experience. You don't need to hire a technical co-founder and you certainly don't need to pay freelancers thousands of dollars just to build a simple application. You don't even need to know what a variable is. And if you don't, that's okay. You're in the right place, stick around. All you need is the motivation, willingness to learn and the right AI coding tool. But which tool should you use? There's dozens of them out there. There's Cursor, there's Windsurf, Lovable, Bolt, V0, Claude Code, the list goes on. After testing basically all of them, I think I found the best one. For most people, the best AI coding platform is Replit. Now best is a loaded term. There's no perfect AI coding tool, but Replit is unique in that it's both powerful and easy enough for beginners to use. It will plan, build and host your entire application. I think it's a perfect tool if you wanna build something quickly and share it with the world. I'm gonna show you why Replit is so powerful by going from idea to prototype to published app all without manually writing code. And in the process, I'm gonna highlight the key features of Replit that I recommend you take advantage of. Let's jump in. First things first, you need to tell Replit what you wanna build. And this is where most people mess up. They write something generic like, build me an app for dog walking. Now, while that's an interesting idea, that's like going into a restaurant, sitting down, and when the waiter asks you what you wanna eat, you say, give me food. That's not gonna get you very far. Here's what actually works. Just like in a restaurant, with Replit and other AI coding tools, you need to be clear and specific for what you want. You need to describe the app, who it's for, and what are the key things you want the app to do, as well as information about how you want the app to look. Now that's optional, but it's a nice to have. In this example, I'm building an AI coding tools leaderboard. It's for people who are interested in AI coding tools like Replit, and it's where they can vote for tools that they find most useful as well as submit new tools that they've discovered for other people to use and benefit from. Here's three pro tips that are gonna make prompting with Replit a whole lot easier. Firstly, use the improved prompt feature. It's gonna automatically enrich your prompt to give you a better output. I highly recommend using this. Secondly, you can ask your AI assistants like Claude or ChatGPT to produce a product requirements doc or a PRD. Just chat with it for a few minutes to get the key functionality and key goals that you want the app to achieve, and then paste that into Replit in order to get started. Thirdly, if you're more visual, you can attach screenshots or sketches of other applications that you want Replit to copy or take inspiration from. Now that you've prompted Replit, watch what happens next. Replit agent doesn't just jump straight into writing code. First, it makes a plan and asks for you to review it. You can think of Replit as a smart college student intern or new grad. It's very smart, it's very capable, but you need to manage it and give it direction. And so this planning review step is just the first review that you have to do in order to make sure that Replit is actually producing the outcomes that you want. Once you've reviewed the plan, that's where things get crazy. The AI doesn't just write the code, it literally builds your app for you. It's creating files, writing code, setting up the structure. You don't need to touch anything. Now, once you've got your V1, you can celebrate a bit but likely Replit isn't gonna get it right on the first time. It's gonna take a lot of back and forth, and so you're gonna to have to chat with it in order to build the next features and get the app to where you're happy with it. I iterated for a couple hours in order to get this AI coding tools leaderboard to exactly where I wanted it to be for this video. Here's five useful features that I recommend you take advantage of in order to build with less headache. First up is the request queue. Instead of waiting for Replit to make a change and then asking for another one, you can stack them up and Replit will work through them while you go and drink coffee or walk the dog or do whatever you want. When you come back, Replit will have worked through the entire queue of changes. Now, what do you do when something goes wrong? And I guarantee you something is gonna go wrong. You need to be prepared for it. That's where the very useful feature of checkpoints and rollback comes into play. You can think of checkpoints as your safety net when vibe coding. 
every time the Replit AI makes changes, Replit saves a snapshot of your app, and that's a checkpoint. If you mess something up, it only takes a single click to roll back or to go back to a previous version of your application. You just select the checkpoint that you want to go back to, and boom, your app is back to where it was at that point in time. Thirdly, what happens when you want to make changes without asking the agent? That's where the visual editor comes in. Just click the visual editor mode button, click any text to edit, and your changes are automatically applied in the preview. Now, what happens when you want to add in functionality to your application? For example, maybe AI functionality that you've seen in ChatGPT, or things like payments or SMS. Thankfully, Replit has a secrets functionality that allows you to add API keys from other services. In the AI coding tools leaderboard, I use the XAI API or the Grok API in order to get the latest updates about changes to each of these AI tools from Twitter or X, the everything app. All I had to do was drop in my XAI API key and give some guidance about what I wanted the prompt to do and Replit took care of the rest. And if you're not sure what APIs to use, you can just ask ChatGPT or Claude for the best free or generous free tier APIs that you can use and integrate into your Replit applications. Now, one of the coolest features of Replit and something that sets it apart from almost every single AI coding tool out there is its mobile application. This means you don't need a laptop or a desktop in order to work on your app. All you need is your phone, which is something you probably have on you 24 seven. You can add features anytime, anywhere, on the couch, on the train, wherever. And the best part is you don't even have to have the app open the whole time. You just give Replit a command and it'll send you a push notification when the agent needs your input. And it's perfect if you're a busy parent or don't have time to sit down every day. You can just vibe code on your phone when you have a free moment. At this point, you've gone back and forth with Replit a number of times and gotten the core functionality of your app to work. But what happens when you want to add things like user accounts, user login, and a database to keep data around between sessions. This is where most beginners hit a wall, but luckily not if you use Replit. Replit comes with two awesome features that help fulfill these common requirements and applications, Replit Auth and Replit Database. Replit Auth enables people to log into your application using popular methods like Google Login, Apple Login, GitHub, or just simple email and password. The great thing about this is that you can configure it just by asking the Replit agent. You don't need to do any extra configuration. You don't need to think about any security concerns. Everything is taken care of and it just works, which is exactly what you want for a critical thing like login. And finally, there's an admin panel where you can see your users and add and manage users right from your application dashboard. Now for the database. Now database is something that lets you store and retrieve user information. In this application, I'm using it to generate the leaderboard to tell me which are the most popular tools and also store things like every vote a user submits or every tool a user submits to the AI coding tools leaderboard. Databases used to be one of the hardest parts of building an application, but thanks to Replit, all it takes is a single prompt because Replit has built-in database functionality. One prompt gives you a real database. It's Postgres under the hood for those of you who are developers and who care about databases, you get a Postgres database powered by Neon. It also comes with a great visual database interface that is basically like Excel, but for your database. You can manually add and modify things in your tables and rows. Everything is done inside the Replit dashboard. An important part that I always recommend for people using Replit is to ask the agent to implement security things like row level security and to use Replit's built-in security vulnerability scanner before you deploy your applications to the public. This allows you to ensure that you have data control and data access permissions correctly set up. And it's one of the great features of Replit allowing you to vibe code safely and securely using Replit databases. And Replit just launched this new feature of development and production databases. You get separate databases for when you're developing the app and when you're testing and a separate database for when you're in production and you have real users. This mirrors how real professional development teams work. I'm really happy to see Replit bringing this to Vibe Coders, again, enabling you to build apps on the Replit platform safely and securely. Now for the fun part, sharing your application. So once you've got something working in the Replit app, 
that you're happy with how it works, now it's time to go live. In the old days, this meant provisioning servers, wrangling with things like AWS and Heroku or DigitalOcean. And it's a bunch of DevOps nightmares for people who've been through that process. With Replit, all it takes is just one click of the deploy button and Replit will build and deploy your application. When it's done, you'll get a URL that you can share and use instantly. Your app will now be live on the internet for people to use. Congratulations. But what if you want a cool .com or .ai domain name? Replit recently added an awesome feature of domain purchasing right inside Replit. This means you can buy a domain and use it in your app all in the same place. I decided to buy the domain aitoolsleaderboard.com and all I needed to do was just search for the domain. I bought it with the credit card that I had on file with Replit and it was auto-connected to this project that I've been working on. I didn't have to do any additional configuration or set up things like DNS or SSL. This was all taken care of by Replit. And now AI Tools Leaderboard is live and available for you to use. Check out the link in the description and play around with it. Again, it's really amazing that you can go from nothing to having an app with a custom domain live, all just using Replit. Now that takes you through the entire process of going from idea to prototype to publish app but let's cover something that I haven't yet talked about, and that's money. The good news is Replit has a free tier, and it's pretty legit. You can build, test, and play around. You don't need a credit card in order to use it. But when you want to deploy your application or need more powerful AI agent features, you're looking at upgrading to the core mode, which is going to cost you about $25 a month. Now, while that might sound like a lot, if you're serious about building, that's the price of like three cups of coffee in New York City. And so I think it's well worth it if you're interested in building with AI coding tools. Replit Core is something that I personally have and I highly recommend it. I'm not being paid by Replit to endorse it. I genuinely think it's something useful if you're serious about AI coding tools and want to build using the Replit platform. In this video, I spent a lot of time talking about the awesome features that Replit has that allow you to build applications using AI. But I think Replit is more than just about the features. It's about removing the excuses between where you stand right now and where you want to be, whether that's building a side project, building a business using AI, or just building a new application for you and your family to use that you don't see out there in the market today. You can't code, the AI writes it. You can't deploy, Replit has one-click deploy. You need a database and login, that's built in. The only thing left is your idea and your willingness to learn and your willingness to be patient and to experiment until you get the outcome that you desire. And if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking about building something using AI coding tools. So I have a challenge for you. After watching this, go and build something. It doesn't matter what. The whole point is just to start because it's never been easier to build something and Replit is your secret weapon. That's it for this video. Drop a comment with what you're building. I promise to read and reply to every one of them. And if you found this video helpful, like and subscribe for more AI coding videos. Catch you in the next one.